Ask Reddit by Slimpy. What if Earth is like one of those uncontacted tribes in South America, like the whole galaxy knows we're here but they've agreed not to contact us until we figure it out for ourselves. And crop circles are just teenager aliens doing graffiti. I really love the idea of irresponsible teenager aliens. Maybe, we are the irresponsible teenage aliens, and when we die, you'll look down and see some weird bong-like device between your knees, then look up, surrounded by your alien homies, they're all smiling at you and one asks how was the trip bro, did you conquer civilizations and shit then you tell them nah I just worked a 9-5, got married and had kids. Then they all laugh and think you're a loser. That's the premise of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy except for the waiting for us to figure it out part. Mostly harmless. I mean we could always just be cosmic ants. How often do you go out to your garden and try to communicate with the bugs? Once a week for 12 years. So, the prime directive? We just need to create warp drive. What if aliens showed up here millions of years ago, saw a planet inhabited by enormous lizard monsters and said fuck that, don't come back to this place. They'd have been like, oh this isn't done, leave it on a high for a while longer. https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash zoo underscore hypothesis. Could you imagine if we were actually set up as a zoo and they came back to discover we figured out nukes? They probably treat us like animals on National Geographic. Attention unidentified spacecraft, you are approaching the planet Terra. Terra has been designated a primitive wildlife zone, and has been designated off limits to interstellar travelers by the Galactic Council. Cut engines and prepare to be boarded. Failure to comply with this demand will result in hostile action. What if the people that were abducted by aliens were actually abducted by some alien TV host equivalent of the Crocodile Hunter, where he abducts a human and shows it off? Crikey what a interesting little fella this is. I'm gonna try a bigger anal probe. Ew, he's angry. That's actually one of many theories about SETI and alien life. That they're so far ahead of us on the Kardashev scale that for them to try to communicate with us would be like us trying to communicate with ants. Or amoebas. I like the evolutionary trajectory theory version of this. The comparison doesn't even need to be as jarring as humans and ants, it can be as simple as humans and apes. That 2% difference is what makes the difference between our two species, now imagine another 2% in the same trajectory away from us, humans. Deleted. So I guess Earth will be both Florida and Alabama of the galaxy. Sweet home Earth and crazy home Earth. Those aliens probably watch us on TV while laughing at us. How can someone or something be that stupid? Do they also suck on each other's dragons? I believe South Park tackled this thought in the episode cancelled and John Edwards being the biggest douche in the universe. This is a very common and well-known theory. It's also called the Prime Directive in the Star Trek universe. Also Mass Effect followed similar logic. The Council would not implement other planets until they become a higher function, not still fighting each other etc. Once they have the means to find their interstellar transportation methods then they can join the Citadel. It made me change my life purpose to hopefully one day seeing humanity unify enough that if this is a thing then we can be a part of it. Alien fanatics would be showing up once a week to tell us about Space Jesus. I'm not currently a believer, but if an alien came down telling me about Jesus, it would at least make me stop and think lol. Deleted. They are playing Clash of Clans using countries. What if we're actually a part of a very huge being, and to that huge being, it's like when we look at our own cells through a microscope and that's just one being there could be millions of huge beings. 
I've always thought of the Sodia and how atoms and solar systems etc kinda behave similarly. Obviously they are not the same but the whole mostly empty space with a nucleus with stuff orbiting the nucleus etc is eerily similar. We are probably more like the Sentinelese from the North Sentinel Island, part of the Andaman Island archipelago in Indian Ocean. They are widely considered as one of the most aggressive uncontacted tribe, very much hostile towards outsiders, though some would disagree. The Indian government declared the remote island officially off-limits. Yeah, the first time they were contacted some of their tribe's people were kidnapped. Not surprised they are so hostile tbh. Maybe there's an intergalactic agreement not to contact any life forms until they develop interstellar travel. We irradiated our own planet on purpose. We're fucking nuts, man. The Krogan would like your location. What if those aliens are looking at this post and giggling like they'll never know how right they are? If that's true we probably killed some of them at one point. Most uncontacted tribes have also killed some of the past people who tried to contact them. True, but it much more often goes in the other direction. They're gonna be waiting a long time. That's already a theory. Edit, because I'm getting messages and comments about this, I wasn't trying to belittle the guy or say this in a manner that implies I didn't want him to post this here. I just thought that maybe he didn't know this concept already existed as I've done this with other ideas and would like to know. I think the more common version of this theory assumes they don't contact us because making contact makes themselves visible and other planets are smart enough to assume there are always bigger fish in the sea. More like they are made out of meat. https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash they apostrophe re underscore mate underscore out underscore of underscore meat depends if there was an advanced society or many and they had a hands-off policy with earth likely the only way they'd actually be able to enforce it would be if their governing bodies had total control over their space flight operations which is conceivable to a point but as soon as you introduce the possibility of private ownership of spacecraft manned or otherwise and operations it truly only takes that one dude looking for space redid karma to fuck it all up I thought that moment in the expanse was on point. There's a giant space portal, and while the top scientists are debating what it is, some a-hole shoots a Facebook love of himself just yoloing into it to impress his girlfriend. It's a very human thing to do. What if we are first? Isn't there a new theory that we're one of the last, and that the peak for alien civilizations was 8 billion years ago closer to the galactic center? I hope that isn't true that would mean the aliens killed themselves off, and I don't want humanity to just die off like that. Edit, that's 8 billion years from the Big Bang, not 8 billion years ago. The Culture series covers this. Most of those tribes remain uncontacted mostly because of concerns regarding introducing new diseases to them and because of the lack of the means for proper communication. I doubt these kind of issues would exist when it would come to aliens. How would you properly communicate with aliens? What if we're more like an anthill in the middle of the Amazon? Or even worse, like a bacterium on Earth. There are 5x1030 bacteria. I feel like they would though, as we have tried so many attempts to reach out to them. You really think the entire galaxy could all unanimously agree to something? To anything? Doubtful. Yes, but then you're projecting human limits on cooperation and agreement onto aliens. I like to think there's the alien equivalent of David Attenborough who does the same thing to us as we do to other animals. Welp, you have it at least half figured out. Truth is. We have been receiving all of those old video transmission. I am told they are called movies wherein your people tend to dissect and kill all aliens that land on your planet. When we, air, yeah, they start seeing you greet visitors with respect, 
maybe something interesting will happen. Then we probably will be contacted first by the extremist aliens who will give us the hard sell that their belief system is the best and that all we believe is a lie. And we will do something violent in response. ETC, etc. Eventually we all end up enslaved or die of an illness our immune systems cannot handle. This is why I've been telling my congressman that we should be kidnapping kids, training them, injecting them with a shit ton of roids, and sticking them in power armor. It's the only hope we have to fight terrorism, and they'll come in handy when the aliens show up. Deleted.